So I'm helping a new restaurant get started, and there's all sorts of little things that I keep having to run out and buy, and I've been trying to make as much as I can on a 3D printer, especially to save money and to justify having this 3D printer. But I keep running into an issue that every time I want something, something as simple as a clip for a copper pipe, it's difficult to find it. And the search terms are maybe the person that made it didn't know how to write it down. But I've also noticed that whenever I upload my creations to Thingiverse or printables, people love it. So it's like, has nobody thought to actually use the 3D printer for like tradescraft, like construction and stuff? Because I needed some half inch copper clips. Now I learned later that they're called straps. There was one instance of somebody making these, but it didn't quite look so nice. So I didn't end up making my own, but I had the exact same thing happen for the third time with something. And this is, we now have the, the whole thing set up fine, but now we have the quarter inch tubing is kind of just hanging. And okay, so we have ice maker hose, nothing comes up. 6.3 millimeter, when you look at bracket, nothing comes up. And so it's like, okay, has nobody made this? 6.5 millimeter wire rack shelf holder terrible design wastes a lot of plastic but that could be reconfigured for it looking up one quarter inch does not bring up anything when that's a again on thingiverse doesn't bring up anything that nobody's thought to upload anything for quarter inch pipe because it makes more sense to say quarter inch pipe because everybody knows there's a quarter, quarter inch pipe not 6.35 millimeter so i had to go and take time out of my day to make this again. Haven't we had 3D printers since 2008? Haven't we, what have we, what have, has the 3D printing community really done if I can't find this stuff already? So I'm just slowly building up my own archive of hardware store items that are actually functional. Meanwhile, everybody else is uploading this kind of useless stuff, like, like how to make uh, the master sword or whatever. But Thankfully, once I actually do make these, I can just 3D print them as much as I want. It'll take almost no amount of time. I've seen other people that they make them. They're horrible designs. Like they require screws and clamps and stuff. I don't know why they don't just make it super simple. Like this is super simple. Lunch break's over. And these are, oh my gosh, they are tiny, but perfect for what I want. They printed perfectly. So we're at the back of the restaurant and here's a little solution that I came up with because this is all torn up, but I decided, well, at least what I put in here will be nice and sturdy and because it was just dangling around and so i got that all connected up and now that we have this well i need these let's see will they work i didn't even measure it hey oh wow uh -huh, look at that so i can just hook that up there So this goes to the soda machine, which is over there. And this goes to the ice machine, which is right here. So now I'm working on making a cabinet to go above that ice maker. And I'm going to give it plenty of room so they can store things above it without it sitting on it because it is a, an ice maker, it is a refrigerator after all, and it'll need some air m movement for it to uh, cool down. And I'm also thinking about adding an extra eight inches because I might wanna make some legs for the ice maker so it's up higher. And that way, since we don't have a drainage line there, 
we can put the bucket directly underneath it and it'll raise it up so it's a better height and i'm hoping to get that all done in the next hour this is just how i do this is i've been getting a lot of work like this i found two other two by twos that were eight feet long and that should be good especially because i'm i'm able to screw it into the wall to really secure it and so i'll take this i'm going to make sure it doesn't have any okay no more no nails on it <laughs> So I've made it like an A-frame, so it's straight up on that side, and this one leans back. Oh, sorry, I was just, I, I was shooting a video. <laughs> I um, sometimes I've actually inverted this design. Like in my workshop, when it when it hung from the ceiling, I realized that I could actually have the shelves go wider over where you are because I was hanging it from the rafters. But then I figured, whenever anything that's standing up, I have it kind of go back to a, a point. That way nothing's kind of like, like looming over you and less chance of stuff falling on you. This is my theory. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually tie it to that board up there. So it'd be really nice and sturdy. And I have one. I'm going to go get another one though. I have like 40 of these at home. Not bad for half done. No, not at all. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Hey, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna steal a piece of ice to eat. Oh yeah. Oh, hey, it's good. I I like it. Not bad at all. Well, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See ya.